we got a transition metal in the periodic table named zirconium. If you look at the periodic table, zirconium is located right here, number 40, and its short name is ZR. The reason this metal is called zirconium, because the main mineral that it's found in is a mineral named zircon. But what the hell is zircon? Zircon is an old Persian word that's pronounced zargun, which means gold-like. And when you look at zircon, the mineral, it kind of resembles the gold color, which is why they called it that. Ever since humans got familiar with the zircon mineral, they noticed that there is a certain metal inside of it. Even in the Christian Bible, it has been written about. You can find zircon everywhere, and inside zircon, you can find zirconium metal. But nobody has written about this metal until the year 1789. In this year, a German chemist by the name of Martin Heinrich Klaproth decides to visit the island of Ceylon, which is now called Sri Lanka. Usually when Europeans went around the world at this time, they wanted to find something valuable, maybe to research, or to take back home and sell it for a profit. And that's exactly what Martin Klaproth was doing. He was analyzing Ceylon to find something interesting, and he got familiar with the zircon element. And he quickly realized that there is a certain metal inside this that's not like any other element we've known. When he got familiar with this metal, he decided to take the name of the mineral itself, which was Zargun, made it Latin, which it became Zircon, and made the element inside it named Zirconia. And in English, it's called Zirconium. Martin Klaproth got familiar with this metal, but he didn't figure out what this metal is actually good for because it didn't seem that useful and it took a lot of energy to purify it, so he left it alone. Zirconium is left alone for hundreds of years until you get to the 20th century, when scientists finally purified zirconium and they started analyzing it and figuring out what it's good for, they quickly realized that it's a very interesting metal. First of all, it's extremely resistant and it's very hard for it to rust. It's very hard to melt it as well, because its melting point is 1855 degrees Celsius. And another important factor that makes this metal interesting is that it's anti-acid. Most acids do not do anything to it. It's so stable that it doesn't even react. Another good thing is that zirconium is very plentiful. Zircon, the mineral that has zirconium in it, can be found everywhere pretty much in all types of beaches. The biggest exporters of zirconium are China, Indonesia, and Australia. And as you can see, they have a whole lot of coasts. Just like we said, no acid has an effect on zirconium, but just like anything, it has an Achilles heel. And the Achilles heel for zirconium is hydrofluoric acid. If you've ever seen Breaking Bad, you know how insanely strong this type of acid is. It's so strong that it melts through everything. Although in the TV show, they use it for terrible things like melting body parts, but it's not like they over exaggerate it. It truly is that strong. It's so strong that they don't sell it just to anybody. You have to be licensed and you have to give a good reason why you need it. Whenever you take any type of metal and you start torching away at it, when you let it cool slowly, it slowly starts to rust. At least some surface rust will begin to show. But for zirconium, it does not rust whatsoever. And the interesting part is that it actually makes it stronger because a top layer of zirconium will oxidize and create a strong layer that doesn't allow the rest of the metal to start rusting. So rather than corroding, it actually gets stronger. Another interesting fact about zirconium is that when it gets friction, it starts sparking away very easily compared to any other metal. Like if you start rubbing it onto a hard surface, it starts sparking right away. Or when you take zirconium powder and put it in front of fire, it starts flashing very bright, which is why they use it in fireworks like these.
But it's not like zirconium is only used for fireworks and fun. It's actually used somewhere very important, inside the nuclear reactor of a nuclear power plant. Zirconium is very stable and does not react to anything very easily. So it's perfect for the nuclear rods inside the reactor. There is something else that doesn't make zirconium the perfect metal inside the nuclear reactor. If you're familiar with the Fukushima disaster in the year 2011, you'll know that the nuclear power plant exploded. One of the reasons it exploded is that when the tsunami hit, the water and the zirconium rod started to react with one another and it started to produce hydrogen gas. And when that happens, you know hydrogen gas does not play around. When a place gets pressurized with this stuff, it will explode. And that's exactly what happened in the Fukushima plant. But this explosion didn't cause zirconium to stop being used in a nuclear power plant it's still the best choice for the fuel rods. And the reason zirconium was not blamed in the Fukushima disaster is because they said it was because of mismanagement in this plant, not the zirconium rods. A lot of people believe even if the tsunami didn't happen, the Fukushima disaster would eventually take place. And that's weird for the Japanese because they're very responsible. But in the case for Fukushima, it doesn't seem like it. Right now, more than 90% of the zirconium produced all around the world is meant for nuclear reactor fuel rods. And the remaining 10% is for other stuff that are not that important, like fireworks. But alongside all of that, it could be used as an alloy in different types of metals. Like for example, the turbines in a jet engine, one of the alloys is zirconium that makes the metal stronger. In some parts of rockets and missiles, you can find zirconium alloy. How much is zirconium anyways? When we are recording this video, the price of zirconium is $29 per kilogram. And it's not like it's a precious metal or a metal that's very dangerous and you can't purchase it. You can buy it everywhere, like eBay or Amazon. Zirconium is 10 times more common than lead. Lead is already very common. Just imagine how common zirconium is.